Okay, let's get rolling into our logic series. Today, we are going to look at one of many informal fallacies in the study of logic. The fallacy we will look at today is the ad hominem argument. So what is an ad hominem argument? An ad hominem argument, or ad hominem in Latin, is an individual attack rather than attacking or disputing the person's ideas. In Latin, ad hominem translates to English as at the man. The hope is this argument is to discredit the person delivering the idea, hence invalidating the idea because the messenger is imperfect. This argument is the opposite of an argumentum ad veracundium, forgive my pronunciation, in English, an appeal to authority argument which is essentially, I have authority, or I'm so smart, my idea must be valid. These types of arguments often work if you're not on your toes, or your thinking is coming from an emotional part of the brain. Now, there are three types of ad hominem attacks. One is abusive, such as, Johnny is not that smart. He flunked his last test. As a matter of fact, he's failing math class altogether. There's no way his answer to number 25 is correct. Notice that the attacker never states the reasons why number 25 is incorrect. He just attacks Johnny's character and his past performance. This is an abusive ad hominem argument, and they come in many different forms. The next type of ad hominem argument is the circumstantial fallacy, where one tries to discredit a claim because it's implied that the claim was made for an ulterior motive. Instead of analyzing whether or not the claim is true, the impression is made that the statement potentially true, was made to benefit the person that made the claim. For example, one may say, Professor Jenkins' theory on the Neanderthals is invalid. He even knows it's invalid. He just proclaims it to be true so he can increase the sales of the book he has just published. Finally, the ad hominem U2 argument. This is where one defends their position by claiming the other person is guilty of the same malpractice. An example of this would be one scientist saying, you accuse me of fudging my statistical data in subtle ways. Of course you would say that because you know, I know, you have manipulated your data much worse. Obviously, this idea that two negatives make a positive or accusations of wrongdoing in both directions eliminates culpability, like all ad hominem arguments, definitely falls into the realm of flawed thinking. So as Alien Institute members, let's look hard at the statement being made first before considering the source. Yes, considering the source can be practical, but analyze the statement nevertheless, because even a blind squirrel will occasionally find a nut. Or for you engineers, even a broken clock will be right twice a day. Hey team members, understanding great minds will add to our goal to become visionaries. Don't forget to comment, share, and strike the like. But most importantly, strike that subscribe button to become part of our elite team.